banks. In a landmark deal, the European Union agreed on a new set of rules on who should take a financial hit if a bank collapses. I'm Monica Gibson with today's Press Review. The measures are one piece of a new banking union that is considered key to restore trust in the crisis-battered eurozone, calming financial markets and preventing future instability. After marathon negotiations in Berlin, officials agreed to make the European Central Bank the bloc's top supervisor, giving EU leaders greater confidence that they are gaining the upper hand over the debt crisis. After the success, some of the officials took to Twitter to announce the decision, with one saying, Big step tonight, taxpayers no longer in front line to pay for banks' mistakes. Banks will have to put money aside for rainy days. We are learning lessons of the crisis, making the financial sector stronger so that it can lend to real economy. Also part of the deal was the bail-in regime, which can force shareholders, bondholders and some depositors to contribute to the costs of bank failure. Insured deposits under €100,000 are exempt and uninsured deposits of individuals and small companies are given preferential status in the bail-in pecking order. This rule book will apply across the EU from 2015, with the so-called bail-in rules for senior bondholders applying in 2016. That's two years earlier than envisaged by financial ministers in their common position agreed in June. The lead negotiator for the parliamentary side said, We now have a strong bail-in system which sends a clear message that bank shareholders and creditors will be the ones to bear the losses on rainy days, not taxpayers. At the same time, we also established clear rules to deal with the most exceptional cases in which overall financial stability is in danger. The consensus signifies the first stage of a banking union within the bloc and a step towards pooling sovereignty. However, some people are less than convinced. Philip Lambers was also involved in negotiations and called the deal a mixed bag, adding bail-in, legally born, bail-out is still alive if somewhat contained. The euro dollar edged up towards 138, which is the year high on the back of the deal, before trading back lower. Of course, the TV team will track the pair's performance after the release of the US retail sales, so please do click back for that. But for now, goodbye.